Okay, this is the game is on 100 here with a video and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Chicago Bears uh, News over the past uh, two days. Uh, let's get started. Um, it's being reported that the Chicago Bears news over the past two days uh, the Bears uh, waived uh, two players uh, yesterday uh, the Bears waived um, offensive lineman Manisville Roto and also they release four string quarterback Nathan Enderley as well. Um, I knew Nathan Enderley wasn't going to be making the team this year because he was uh, Mike Martz's uh, quarterback that uh, Mike Martz uh, wanted the Bears to get because he was there. So it was a good way to. Uh, to weigh Nathan Enderley. Um he didn't do nothing much for the Bears. He only played a little bit in the preseason. So, so basically, the Bears are set with their quarterback position with uh, Cutler, Campbell, and McCowan. That is a good, uh, good quarterback uh, tandem right there with those three. The Bears shouldn't have any problems with their quarterback position whatsoever. And uh, and today, the Chicago Bears signed uh, two players today. They signed offensive tackle Corey Brandon and cornerback Cornelius Brown today. Um, uh, Brandon is a 6'7", 324 pound, pounder. Came into NFL in 2011 as an undrafted free agent. With the Tampa Bay Buds out of Oklahoma, but was weighed by the club after training camp. Cornelius Brown is a 5'11", 198-pound cornerback. Uh, spent time with the Bears in 2010 as an undrafted free agent out of University of Texas, El Paso, but was weighed by the team after the preseason and eventually joined the practice squad of the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts moved Brown to the active roster in November of 2010 and the cornerback played in 10 games in which he contributed 16 tackles to go with 5 pass breakups. Uh, special teams, Brown returned 5 kickoffs for a 20.4 yard average but was released by the Colts in 2011 after the preseason. So the Bears signed two guys and they cut two guys so their roster is still at, 90, at uh, 89 players right now. Um, they still got one roster spot open left, and that is for Matt Forte uh, when he signs his uh, franchise tender offer. Um, he has until July 16th to sign that tender for the franchise tag. So we'll see. We'll see what what uh, Matt Forte does over the next uh, weeks leading into that day on July 16th. If he will sign his tender at that time or not um and Matt Forte he if he was if I were him if that time comes and he doesn't get the long term deal sign the tender offer play out your uh, franchise offer have another good year and then you can get yourself another big money contract with another team if you have to but if uh, Matt Forte sits out this year he's going to be missing out on money he'll be missing out a roughly am average of about around four hundred and around four hundred and eighty thousand dollars a paycheck that is a lot of money per per game that Matt Forte will miss he won't be getting any money so he sh hopefully he will sign his tender um, sign his franchise offer and hopefully he can get in and and won't be a distraction for the team for the Bears. Um, that was just a little bit of news over the past couple of days that uh, the Bears released wave two players and they signed two more players. So there you go. I'm going to post the the two. I'm going to post the links in the description box for you guys to have a look at. This is the game is on 100. I am out later.